This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital, Good morning and welcome back to Strictly Business. Um, We are here with Jason Cater, who is the executive director of Bike Bakersfield and also a member of our uh, chambers, Bakersfield Young Professionals program. And then uh, also Hillary Haynes, my colleague from the chamber. Good morning. Thank you both for joining us. Good morning, Nick. Um, You know, I think the thing that we wanted to talk about was young professionals. You know, there's been a lot going on around BYP. I know you've been on, I know you've been in the studio, I think, a couple of times talking about this topic, both uh, on Mm -hmm. Strictly Business and on First Look. Mm -hmm. But um, we have a big event coming up, and I I was interested if you could just provide just a little bit of background to folks about how how they, how this event what, what was what are the we genesis doing? Yeah. exactly what was the genesis what was yeah. the thought process and what are we doing because it's friday yeah. and tickets are limited Absolutely. and i think it's going to be a great event it's going to yeah. sell out it's, yes. it's going to sell out it's going to be phenomenal yeah the bigger and professionals started through the chamber mm-hmm. about a year ago and there's just been a lot of, of hype and really a lot of um, activity i guess we'll say around mm-hmm. kind of bringing young professionals together in this community and there's a lot of uh, ideas that are circulating about really how young professionals want to be engaged in a part of Bakersfield. And so the genesis of what we're doing Friday came from an urbanist walk where we took a bunch of our our young professionals and walked the downtown area looking for ways to kind of make our mark on our community. And Mm -hmm. one of the things we saw were these empty alleyways where, you know, right now they're being used for for trash dumps and um, for maybe parking behind for deliveries. And Mm -hmm. we saw it as an opportunity to say, okay, let's look at our community and see if we can do something different, something exciting. And so we want to take an existing alleyway we want to put a party in there. We want to bring in some some food, some drinks, some music. And we want to just have a big festival in there and kind mm-hmm. of show what opportunities exist in our community and kind of see what young professionals can really do for Bakersfield. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think there was <clears throat> there was actually a uh, concept that had been done in other communities, right, where right. they had actually done this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, alley parties are, are things that have been going on in other communities. Denver's done a few, mm-hmm. Chicago, Austin. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be our, our way to brand ourselves and, and show – what young professionals want to bring for our community by taking this alley party idea and, and making it something that's BYP. So. Yeah. And, you know, you think it's just, you know, about, okay, you're throwing a big party, but it's also, you know, I think we've been engaged in trying to beautify that area. Mm-hmm. This is a way to show off, you know, I think what we could do downtown and what other people can do to bring vibrance and events downtown Absolutely. beyond just doing a, a party per se. Absolutely. Yeah. The idea isn't just to do a party, mm-hmm. as you said. It's really to show what we can add as far as value to our community. And mm-hmm. there has been all kinds of activity swirling around that area in particular. Definitely. And so a lot of our, our members are really interested in that that area. And so this is not just going to stop tonight or excuse me, on Friday. It's going to go beyond that. It's going to show what opportunities really exist in our community and, and show what part uh, the BYP and its members can really play in making Bakersfield a place that's attractive to to all um, all people in the workforce. And so it's it's Wall Street Alley in between I and H Street, mm-hmm. and we're going to have, you know, food vendors. We are going to have live music. Mm-hmm. Um, Mento Buru is playing the <laughs> yeah. Jay Smith group, and they they told us that they're doing a cover of Thriller. Oh, there you go. So that'd be cool. <laughs> I want to see Hillary do the Thriller dance. Oh, I'm ready. I've been, I've been practicing at home. We're going to lead so. it. <laughs> yeah, DJ Nick, Mikey will be there. Yeah. It'll be fun. Nick, are you going to be leading the thriller group? Oh, know, I don't know if that, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might burn somebody's cornea now. or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, one of the things that I think, um, you know, Jason, your group has been so great at is really, I think, creating, you know, this real interest in downtown yeah. and translating it not only to the chamber and this event, but also, you know, uh, at the DBA, you know, mm-hmm. they're really responsible for getting the permits, raising the mm-hmm. money to mm-hmm. light the alleyway there. Right. And we're really being able to reap the benefits of, of the investment mm-hmm. that yep. the DBA has made. Yeah, the DBA has done a lot of great work for the downtown mm-hmm. area. I mean, they've been really engaged, really involved. And, yeah, some of these project ideas that have come up, like lighting the alleyway, mm-hmm. uh, is something that they they kind of spearheaded and championed. And as you said, we'll reap the benefits. Uh, it's neat to see the community and the different pieces kind of looking at these investments and these improvements and all kind of saying, let's let's grow off these, these investments together mm-hmm. and, and let's build uh, a downtown that is attractive and is, is vibrant mm-hmm. for people of all ages. And particularly the millennials, we really have seen a big interest in the downtown area. And so it's, it's exciting to see this be something that can be a staple for the bigger so young professionals and be something that's unique, something that's different. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, definitely grown yeah. in this past year. Yeah. Lululemon just opening, yeah. the lights going up. 
yeah. restaurants or you know popping up everywhere yes mm -hmm. definitely more engagement mm -hmm. more investment in the downtown area mm -hmm. and you know we're, we're downtown you know in the in the chamber you right. know we are we have members everywhere but we're downtown and so we most certainly appreciate yeah. you know bringing some vibrancy downtown Absolutely. and you know i think one of the things a uh, uh, reason why we initially started BYP is really to try to ensure that we are reaching um, those millennials and those young mm -hmm. professionals. And they do see that the chamber is a place where they can engage, where mm -hmm. they can change and shape their community Absolutely. to be the community that they want to. Because ultimately, I think it's it's millennials are going to be leading very soon right. a lot of key institutions in the state, in the nation, in the world. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the, the the demographics for the millennials, I mean, they are a very large sector of our, of our country mm -hmm. and our community. And as you mm -hmm. see, kind of the baby boomers are coming to that point where they're at the end of their career getting ready to, to look at retirement. There is a really large millennial workforce that's getting ready yep. to enter and, and enter positions where they are in leadership. And the idea of create being creative and intuitive, I mean, that's, those are huge concepts for millennials as well as being communal. And so with the chamber, it's a great opportunity to really get engaged with what this community already has to offer, to get involved with the leadership here locally mm -hmm. and, and be a part and kind of bring those creative and innovative ideas to to commingle with those who are involved in leadership. And there's been a lot of one of the most encouraging things for me in the in BYP has been to see the the reception of the program mm -hmm. on all mm -hmm. different levels. I mean people who are, you know, in the the baby boomer generation or Gen X, I mean they're excited about, you know, the millennials coming in. Millennials are excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's been a huge program for the chamber, and this Friday we're hoping we're going to show off kind of what definitely <laughs> the, the ideas Make are that they can bring. Money for the program, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think and it's going to do make, larger invest in it, yeah, yeah, invest exactly. in it, so Absolutely. that we can make sure that we have you know a sustainable future for this program, and that yep. we can continue to attract young professionals to it. Absolutely, it's grown so much this year, yes. tremendously. I think we have we've had what six hundred something uh, people on our mailing list, mm -hmm. and. With the pub clubs, yeah. we average about 80 to 100 people, yep. and yep. it's just such a, a great program. And like yep. you said, with the with the seasoned professionals. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't coin that term, by yeah. the way. Yeah. It's been coined <laughs> by um, other people. <laughs> but with, you know, you've gone to speak at, at Rotaries, yeah. and they're, it's it's a good yeah. yeah. A great program. It's helping us, I think, really develop, you know, the next generation of leadership. Yes. And that's something that we're committed to definitely at the chamber. Right. So uh, BYP, the street party, is this Friday, the 9th. Mm -hmm. um, six it is to 10. Six to 10. Tickets are $25 a piece. And you get a free beer ticket. Uh, there you go. We'll have uh, <laughs> W.A. Thompson and Advanced Beverage there. So we'll have a good have, selection. Yes. And we tried to pick some some craft beers for the for yes. the YPs. Yeah. Since we're like the craft beer mecca these yeah. days. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then well, for our food vendors, we have uh, Curbside Kitchen. Mm. They're, they'll have their food truck out. Decor Bake Shop. Mm. Maya will be selling cookies and Macs. Um, acai Bowl and the Brazilian Hot Dog Guy. Mm -hmm. there there a go. variety of drinks yeah. and uh, food yeah. and Music. And you enter through the park at the mark. Yes. That's going to yes. be the That's entrance. That's the only entrance. And again, so we have that space as well. An example of you know just trying to you know invest in downtown and beautify you know part of downtown. Right. And so we're very thankful to the owners of the mark and their general manager Terry Maxwell for partnering with us on this one. And to our sponsors. Yes, yes. this is sponsored yes. by Kern Federal Credit Union. They're the presenting sponsor. They are the people who made it happen, and we appreciate their investment. And then uh, W A Thompson, Advanced Beverage, Transwest Security Service. Services, uh, Council Member Bob Smith, mm -hmm. um, the Seventeenth Place Townhomes, Eagle Mountain Casino, and Western Power Products. Am I leaving anybody out? Simplicity. Simplicity. We have mm -hmm. nine. Yep. Teresa's is going to kill me. <laughs> 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 it was good. It was good. I'm, I'm working without a net here. I didn't have any of those in front of me. So yeah. Uh, was, but yeah. Off the top of your head, that was very good. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ask Hillary about the budget nearly every day. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep on track. Yeah. But um, you can go on uh, Facebook. You can search for BYP yes. Street Party. We are advertising. If you are live in Bakersfield and you are on social media, I'd be surprised if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot um, of followers. Yeah, exactly. So they, you can purchase your tickets at crickets.com, and that is Q-R-I-C-E. 
K. K E T S. <laughs> so it's just crickets with a Q. Yes. So basically, tickets, there are no paper tickets. It's all mobile. You will get a QR code, mm-hmm. kind of like a, a, a barcode or a scanner on your phone, which will be your ticket to the event. Yes. So um, again, very millennial Easy friendly. Yeah, we're going technology and paperless. Exactly. Paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're really trying to make it, you know, very, you know, user friendly, but also, you know, target our, our demographic by. Yeah. And, and Uber. We, Uber yes, is going to be. Uber is, we partnered with Uber. And for those who haven't used Uber yet, if they sign up that night, they get $20 off their ride with the code BYP Party. Mm-hmm. And so that'll cover your ride to, you know, yes. <laughs> home. And I know. Yep. I can't imagine an Uber ride, and well, it depends on where you're going. Well, yeah, <laughs> the after after party. Uh, and there are a lot of Uber drivers in town. We yes. have seen this, so yep. you know there is definitely going to be people who are are able to do that, and we encourage people to attend and imbibe yep. responsibly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> imbibe responsibly. I like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. Uh, it's you can go to the bakersfieldchamber.org you can go to the chamber's uh, facebook mm-hmm. page um, and our twitter or just search if you search byp street party on google you will get um, the uh, website that you can register for and get your tickets so I think there's only 50 tickets left yes. yep. so no, we're gonna, we will sell out no, before we have Friday. a lot yes. of people we have an event on facebook a lot of people are going but they haven't got their tickets so. yes get your tickets 50 tickets yep. Thank you. Yes. So, <laughs> so Jason and Hillary, thank you so much for being on the program today. Right. And Jason, thanks for all you do for our BYP program. Oh, absolutely. I love it and really enjoy it. And thank you guys for starting the program. So Wonderful. So we are going to be back with our final segment where we tell you what's going on at the Chamber. And this is Strictly Business. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 